Hey guys, Bass and Blues here. We're, today we're going to be talking about our favorite fishing lures for striped bass and bluefish. Now the first lure I want to talk about is the snag hook. Now this little contraption is a weight on a hook and you cast that out when the bunker ponds get really close up to the surface and tight together. So the bass are on the bottom of the bunker pods and they're pushing the bunker up. And they wait for a wounded bunker to fall down so they can just smack it and eat it. Now, what the snag hook does is you, it's, you cast it into the bunker pod and rip it through and it hooks one of the bunker in the side. Now, when the bunker falls, the bass or the bluefish are waiting there to absolutely destroy the bunker and you're hooked up. Our other favorite lure is the um, Bomber Long A. This is the um, baby striped bass color. This lure has caught plenty pl and plenty of striped bass for us. This dives to two to four feet, and it's just been a great lure for us this season. The next lure I want to talk about is the Acme Needle Eel. This is a great um, sand eel imitation when they're really thick and the striped bass and bluefish are tuned on in on them to get them. This works just like any diamond jig or spoon. You just reel it straight and it really just is a great sand eel imitation for those bass that are tuned in on the eel. I have caught plenty of fish on this one. This is an Adam's Popper. This is supposed to replicate a mullet. So you pretty much cast this one out there and rip it across the surface and it just does a little jiggle and the bass have absolutely destroyed this one. Now the next lore I want to talk about, this is the metal lip swimmer. This one in particular is a tsunami timber lure flat nose swimmer. This one is six inches and is the bunker color. Now these metal lip swimmers are designed to swim from like on the top of the water or two feet down depending on where the lip is bent and they wobble on the top like a dying bait fish and it's really good imitation of dying bait fish on the top of the water and striped bass love it and just come and hit it this lure has worked great for me off jetties beaches and boats and it's just a really great overall all-around lure this is my favorite topwater lure. This is a tsunami talking popper. This lure has a great splash, and, and, and as you can see, there's plenty of bite marks on it from those hungry striped bass that, eat, that are trying to eat the bunker off the surface. And this, I've used this in the bay before, and this has caught blue, um, stripers and the bluefish because of the size of it. The next lure I want to talk about is the bucktail. This one's a white one. Now these are really great to be fished on the bottom anywhere. You can fish them from boats, jetties, beaches, shoals. They work everywhere. Now when you're fishing a bucktail, you normally don't want to fish it plain. Have a little, you want to have a little trailer just to add a little action to it. On this one, I'm using a hoagie sand deal imitation. You can also, other really good ones are gulp. Um, gulp swimming mullets or other gulp products. You can also use pork rinds. Those are also very good. You can also even use bacon on it. You can use really anything. Now the last lore I want to talk to you guys about is the storm shad. This is a really good lore when the bunker are really schooled in and when the bass are really attacking those bunker in the fall and spring run they ca you cast this out it's a great imitation and they absolutely destroy it this lure is best used when the striped bass are blitzing on bunker and most people love to use it when they're fishing for striped bass in a blitz now you know when you're fishing this right when you can feel the tail paddling in the water like when you cast it out and reel it you can feel the rod tip, you can feel a little action on it, and that you can tell that that means the back is wiggling and that you're fishing it correctly. That's all for today, guys. Hope you liked it and come, and come back and watch again.